It's all right. Just book a flight for me for the weekend. Uh, I'll be coming this weekend. No, no, no. No, this weekend is fine. <laughs> it's all right. No, no. So, how are you? Hi, Zabuja. Oh, yeah, my sister told me about this. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Right. <laughs> you are you're talking to Lisa? Yes, Mama. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, your father wants to see you. He wants to speak with you. All right, Mama. Mm. I'm behind you. Uh, no problem. Chidima, my daughter. Papa. You see. When the eyes is crying, the nose shares in the agony. And when a man sees a tiny snake on his way, he comes to tell his kinsmen that he has seen a big python. Otua. And whatever is meant to be worn on your eyes, you cannot be seen in your arm. And the greatest risk a child will undertake is to lie to his or her parents and try to cover it up or smart on just to give that feeling that he or she is wise. the man. Okay. the last time, I'll ask you as your father, do you have any skeleton in your cupboard? And what are you doing in the dark that you do not even want the sun to reveal? No, tell us. Our people say a father can use his head to wage a bullet for his children. Yes, that's true. But then? Nothing. I repeat, nothing. That you will tell me. Or your mother. Or your parents. That is wrong with your life that we will not stand by you or protect you. The ear will never begin to bleed because of what it hears. And no matter what the eye sees, it will not bleed blood. Everything has a solution. Even death, as I say, does not have a solution. Because nobody can bring the dead to the, to, to the living. Yes, we know. But what is happening in this family and in the lives of our children? It's not anything we would have wished them to go through. That is not the kind of life we planned for them. Yet this girl will not open up to us. My child, open up to your mother, to your father. And we will be there to protect you. We will be there for you. Please, don't hide it from us. You know what I'm talking about. Say it to us. Papa. Mama. Yes. See, I think it's high time I left this house for the both of you. Yes. Me, I'm tired of all this. So I'm tired of all this. Maybe I should just go to Lagos or somewhere else. Eh? Why is every meeting in this house always about Chidima? Why? Because I see evil. Yes, I see evil coming, riding on the wing to destroy my family. Shidema, we are restless. You may go anywhere you want to go to. But I tell you this, you can never be smarter than your children. At all. We are your gods. We are your earthly 
gods. Let that thing that wants to take your head come. Chidima, it has to take me first. Yes. Eh? Tell us. Stop pretending. Naked yourself and let us see the scars. I know where we can be your help. We are traumatized. We are restless. We are worried about you. I'm not hiding anything, please. Have you seen? Have you seen what I've been telling you? This girl is very secretive. Even right from childhood, you cannot, uh, 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 you know, trick her or cajole her into saying something that is on her mind. She will hide it and never reveal it to you. Yeah, they say she's a direct recognition of your late mother. And this is exactly the way your mother was behaving when she was on earth. Woman, uh, shut up. Hiding her money everywhere. Ah! Talking something to your daughter. I need to call mother right away. You don't go, you do not go again. talked about that. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Listen, I love you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hey baby, how are you? Are you okay? You're not sleeping. <sighs> no baby, I can't sleep. I have a lot of work to do. I'm trying to finish my work here. Are you cheating on me with Sandra again? After what you promised me. Babe, what stupid question is that? What stupid question is that? What do you mean by that? I had a dream about you. And I saw the both of you kissing in your office. I'm serious. I will kill you if you dare go back to your words. See, I don't even have time to start monitoring or checking your phone. Just don't dare me. You need to stop. Okay? You need to stop. No one is cheating on you. You need to stop being negative. You need to take those negativity off your mind. You can't possibly have a dream and think it is reality. It was just a dream. No one is cheating on you. I don't have anything to do with Sandra. I'm here working. Working hard to pay bills. Okay, I believe you, but don't dare me. You know I can kill, right? Oh. You need to stop saying that to me, all right? Stop saying that to me. It is wrong. I'll be traveling to the village first in tomorrow morning. Why? Is there a problem? I think it's about Chidima. My dad called. He sounded furious. 
All right, that's fine. When are you going? I said first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so how are you going? Are you flying or you're driving? I'm flying. When are you coming back? Let me get to the village first. Ada? You need to stop, okay? You're threatening me. And that's totally wrong. You can't tell someone to their face that you're going to kill them. You can get arrested for that. Telling me to accept a married man with two kids. Are you for real? Angie, that is not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is give him a chance to explain things to you, okay? Listen, this man wasn't happy with this marriage. He's not happy with it. It's not an excuse to have kept me in the dark all this while. Yes! Just do it and feel the pain. Look, the sister-in-law traced me down to my house. She threatened to deal with me personally. Are you serious? Yes. I don't know who gave her my house address. She threatened to deal with me for what I don't know about. Angela, I'm sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry, but I still maintain, give Kenneth a chance to explain things to you. He might have a cogent reasons for the things he did. Please, I beg you, just allow him to explain. It's because of you. It's because of you I have to take his call. If not, I swear to God, I will not. You know me now, I will not do that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, one more thing. Chidema, what are you talking about? We agreed you'll be traveling to Dubai. Sister, I'm not going to Dubai. I want to be in Abuja. I want to be close to my kids. Eh? I want to stay in Abuja, but not in your house. <laughs> Papa, Mama, this was not the plan. Chilima, what changed? I thought we agreed on this already. What happened again? In Abuja. What is wrong with that? Something is wrong with it. I want to be close to my kids so I can see them, period. I want you to stay far from Kenneth. I don't want him to come back and start deceiving you. Why have you people deviated from the main topic? I said, ask your sister what happened to her marriage. Because I foretell bad days ahead. Papa, you have come again. Which one is bad days ahead again? I don't understand. My husband, this, was, this one you're talking about for telling something and not interested in her marriage and all that. It's not the point. This girl you see is not faithful in her marriage. I have been seeing her snooping around to answer this particular call that usually calls her at night. I'm suspecting her with that number. Who is that I usually call you at night? Mama, it's Olisa. And you're hiding to that answer his call. Somebody and, uh, will all know. I don't even know why everybody is so worried about who I call and who I don't call on phone. How is that a problem? How is it you people's business? Your sister said she was never in love, nor had any feeling at all for Kenneth. Chidima. Sister. Yes, that is it. Can that be over now, please? Ha! You don't want to go to Dubai. You want to go to Abuja. Abuja, Abuja, really brain. You got no idea, Abuja. Abuja marriage. You have seen your life with Abuja marriage. Go to Dubai, it's better for you. I'm not going there. I don't know why you are looking at me like, am I a child? 
Okay, oh, Mama. Mm -hmm. Let us let her be. You don't want to travel to Dubai again, okay? Have your drink. What's wrong with you? You don't seem happy. What's going on? I'm fine. Okay, someone is obviously lying to me. If you think I'm lying, then that's okay. Sandra, you have to stop coming to my office. My wife had a terrible dream about you and I. She saw us kissing and making out. And that's so wrong. <laughs> Thank God she said it's a dream. Because let's just pray it doesn't come out real. And come to think about it too, you and I have been friends for so long before you even got married to her, Adizi. So, I, I still wonder why things didn't work out between you and I. I don't think we should have that conversation. <laughs> yeah, um, you talked about um, seeing me, you wanted to talk about something. What's, what's going on? Sandra. I needed some me time. I needed to cool off. I left my house because I wanted to to get some things off my chest. Some things like what? You mean what your brother did? Is that disturbing you? It's more than that. Okay. And you know we can always talk about anything. Come on. Let's share the thoughts. What's going on? I'm sorry, it's my cue to leave. No, 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 sweetheart. You know what you don't need to. Look, look. Let me. You can actually um, stay, stay, right? I enjoy your company. And you can stay as long as you want, you know that, right? Just relax. Sit tight and let me make you feel comfortable. Alright? What? Kenneth! That is it. Please don't tell anyone. And that's why I have to leave. You are evil. How could you do such a thing? I'm telling you all these things because I love you and I want us back. Why would you do such a thing? Are you under a spell or something? No, maybe I was naive. I was thinking I'm helping my brother out. And I have to do it for him. No. No, no. Look, do you know what you did? Do you know? I, I don't know. Someone has to know about this. Yes, because you are at the center of everything. And your sister-in-law is freaking out with stress. I am going to look for that your sister-in-law and tell her everything you just said here. I am going to do that. You dare not. You dare not do such thing. Are you yelling at me? In my own house? You stupid bastard! Did you call me a bastard? Are you raising your voice at me? <laughs> I don't know. It's because of Monisa she changed her mind. And I support her. You know, the young man has been coming around. And your father, in his way, has explained everything to the young man. I see he doesn't have any problem with that. Mama, that is what Monisa told me. But she going to Abuja to visit him is too early. I'm not buying that idea. I've spoken to her. 
But she insists she is going. She says she must go there. Mama, the thing is that I don't want her to appear cheap. I know how men are. I know they've been friends since secondary school, but visiting him this early is a turn off for me. Uh, you're right, what you're saying. But wait, if not the young man, who, who else is inviting her to come to Abuja? Me. I don't want any man taking advantage of Chidima. She has been through a lot. Right. It's too early. You're right. But I don't know. I don't know how to approach this matter anymore. I don't know. Sister, I just need to leave this village. I feel choked already. I need to be out of here. See. It's not like I'm asking you not to leave the village, but I want you to come back to my house after visiting Ulisa. That's why all I'm asking. Come on, sister. You know Ulisa. He won't take advantage of me. See, I know that Ulisa likes you and you like him too, but I want you to take things easy. I don't want anybody taking advantage of you. At least take your time, know him, study him, know the kind of man he is. It's okay, sister. So, have you accepted me not going to Dubai now? If you say so, at least it will give you time to know this more. Thank you. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Just be careful. I don't want any guy taking advantage of you again. And I want you to be happy and genuinely happy. I understand. <laughs> What did you talk about? So we're going to spend the weekend together. I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry. My wife and I intend to spend time with the kids. Babe, please. Please. Sandra. I've told you to stop calling me babe. I'm someone's husband. Fine. But look, it's, it's just going to be one weekend. Like just one weekend and then I'll go back to London. I would not even disturb you anymore. Please. All right, I'll think about it. I love you. And, um, you know what? Say hi to your crazy wife as you go.
What the hell is this? What nonsense is this? Hello? Sandra, can you hear me? Sandra, what nonsense is this? What the hell is this? Have you gone crazy? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Why did you put this nonsense in my pocket? <laughs> you know, I... I want you to think about me, baby. I want you to think about... Me and what we had today. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you trying to get me into trouble? What if my wife finds out? I know you're a very smart guy. I knew you'd definitely find it before your wife does. <laughs> Look, Kel, I, I want us to spend the weekend together. You know, have some fun, catch up. <laughs> Yeah, and you better not say no because if you do, I'll just have to come to your home or your office. <laughs> and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. Oh yeah, I mean every single word I said. And if you do not want your wife's um, dream to come to reality, you would have to honor my kind and sexy chat to request my king. Sandra, listen to me! I am a married man. Alright? You need to leave me the hell alone. I need to focus on my family. Do you understand me? Listen, you... you you can't say that to me. You, you, you can't say. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why is your heart full of evil? You look innocent at ways, but inside of you, you are very dangerous. What you think he is? Beware of him. It's not what you think he is. He's the master planner. Oh, my flesh and blood. He's the master planner. Oh, my flesh and blood. I'm a rock one now. My flesh and blood. I'll be very he planned everything. Oh, my flesh and blood. He is in control.